Is your business struggling to make revenue? As a seasoned business owner and a professional and a CEO of my own award-winning tax firm, I can tell you there are literally five top reasons your business isn't making money. That's why in this video, I am going to talk to you about each one and what you can do right now to make the necessary changes so that your business can start making money. But before we jump in, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure your business is always making money. Now let's get after it. The number one reason I see that businesses stop making money, they don't have a business plan. No business plan. And you might be thinking to yourself, Carla, I don't need a business plan. My business started off making money. I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, I am going to tell you, speaking from experience, that your business may only make money for so long and you're eventually going to hit the wall where your business stops making money. Because a business plan, outlines for you your revenue model. And remember, your revenue model is how you make income. So it's so important that you have a business plan that is not only going to outline how you're gonna make money, but it's also going to outline for you how you're gonna finance your business venture. Are you gonna need to get some money? Are you gonna need some capital? Are you gonna need a loan? What's your strategy to continue to make money? This is how you take a business from making money for a week making money from a month, making money from a year to making money for years. I cannot tell you just how many business owners that I have that were booming during COVID. You guys remember COVID. They started a business, that business was making money hand over fist. Then what happened? The business all of a sudden stopped making money because they did not really have a strategy. They just had a service that they were offering that just happened to be good during that time period. But when you have a business plan, you literally are going to have a long-term strategy to sustain you through good times and bad times. So if your business is not making money, make sure you look at how to get a business plan and get one in place immediately. No systems and process. This is the other reason why businesses stop making money. You start your business off. I started my business off that way. I had a service, I did tax prep. I knew how to do it, it was just me depending on me. But at some point, you're gonna get to your point in your business where you wanna add on additional people to help you because you've added on additional costs. But you can't add on additional people to help you without proper system and process. Let me give an example of how that works. I know you guys have played that game where you repeat something somebody said. Mary came over to the house, she had on a pair of blue jeans. And then you give it to the next person, they add to it. Mary came over to the house, she had on a pair of blue jeans and she had on a red shirt. And the next person says, Mary came to the house and she had on a skirt and she had on a blue shirt. Well, she didn't, she had on blue jeans. And the reason why it changes because people start to do what they wanna do in your business when you don't have proper system and process. System and process allows you to repeat a pattern over and over again. It gives your teammates, the people you work with, a checklist, just follow the process. They don't need to think. You've done the thinking, you're the entrepreneur. You want them to follow process. Think about a couple of great businesses. McDonald's, for example, In-N-Out, for example, um, Chick-fil-A, for example, Hardee's, if you're on the East Coast. They have great systems and process, no matter which in and out burger you go to, which I know is a California thing, no matter what McDonald's you go to, no matter what Starbucks you go to, you, that coffee, that burger is pretty much gonna taste the same. If you get a hamburger, it's gonna have that one pickle, that one little dollop of mustard, and that one little patty, and that is it because of system and process. It's so important that you get that system and process down so that everything can be repeatable with or without you. And that is how you're gonna get your business to start making money. No or poor marketing. You gotta have a marketing strategy all the time. There's never gonna be a time that you're not gonna market your business. I do not care if your business is booming. I do not care that you have so much money in your bank account that you gotta go open up another bank account. I do not care. You always gotta have a marketing strategy. McDonald's still markets. You're never gonna pull back on your marketing. When you are really running a business, you gotta have things going all the time. But what happens is, when you start to make money, you think, oh, I don't need to do that anymore. So you pull back on the things that got you where you work. You need to double down on it. You need to increase your marketing, increase your marketing strategy. Because I can tell you, there's never gonna be a time 
that KDA and the businesses that we have stop marketing ever. And if you find out they stop marketing, remind them that their mother said they need to continue marketing. Poor financial literacy. I know this is not something that they taught us in school. They didn't teach us about budgets and about revenue and how to really make the proper expenses and when to make the proper expenses. They didn't teach us any of that. But I am going to tell you, as a seasoned business owner, you have to have a certain level of financial literacy to run your business. You have to understand how to read a profit and loss, how to read a financial statement. You have to understand what does it mean by cash flow projections? What does it mean by cash flow statement? What does it mean by balance sheet? You got to be able to talk about these things. What does it mean to have working capital, liquidity? These financial terms are so imperative. I would just tell you right now, your balance sheet is really your net worth in your business. It speaks to the amount of equity you have in your business. It speaks to the amount of assets you have in your business. How much money you have in your bank account? How much inventory you have to sell? How much property your business owns? Who owes you money? That all aggregates together to the value of your business. If you ever think about wanting to sell your business, you have to understand balance sheet. You got to understand financial projections. These are things that you absolutely have to learn. And you may think to yourself, well, you know what, Carla? I'm going to hire an accountant to teach me that. Or I don't need to know because my accountant knows. I bet you Elon Musk knows what I'm talking about. I bet you Donald Trump knows what I'm talking about. I bet you Jeff Bezos knows what I'm talking about because they got themselves educated. You definitely are going to get great people on your team, but you always want to be a part of the conversation because how do you know if they're ripping you off? Just because you make billions doesn't mean they're not taking millions. You got to make sure you're educated enough to know is that a good decision or a bad decision? So you got to get yourself financially literate when it comes to running your business. And finally, not having a tax plan. Let me tell you how this plays out. Your business is booming. You're making money. You even gotten it to the point where you got your expenses locked down and now you got profit and you're super excited, except for your tax bill is out of control. You made $250,000, but your tax bill is at $100,000. That's not cute. That's horrible. <laughs> Because now what happens? You got a big tax bill and you haven't done any tax planning. This is why you always got to be thinking about your taxes all year long. Just like I said to you, you got to have a marketing strategy that is going all the time. You got to have a tax plan that is going all the time. When you are running a business, you got to be doing everything all the time because if you stop, your taxes get out of control. That's why you owe so much money because you didn't even put a tax plan in place. You got to have a tax plan. You got to be planning all year and you got to be thinking about how you're going to reduce your tax bill and not just think about it. You absolutely have to be about it. You got to start putting strategies in place and you got to put them in place right now, not December 31st and certainly not January after the year closes. How about you put strategies in place in June? How about you put a strategy in place before 4th of July? How about you put a strategy in place before Labor Day, Memorial Day? And you better have a strategy before the turkey goes in the oven because any good tax strategy, they are going to be busy after November because everybody waits to the last minute. And when you wait to the last minute, what happens? Prices go through the roof. So you want to make sure that you are tax planning all year long. And when you are tax planning all year, when you are having a business plan, when you are doing your marketing all year long, when you are improving your financial literacy, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna have a business that's booming, not just this week, but next week and next year. You're gonna have cash in your pocket and you're gonna be able to take your business to the next level. That is why when you know better, you have to do better. That is why I want you to like, comment and subscribe so I can keep you updated on all things business and tax.